Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are conducting the series Particle Tracing for Fluid Flow. We have already uploaded two videos in this series and in the first video we talked about various scopes of modeling with this particular physics and in the next video we talked about Brownian dynamics. We took Brownian force in the particle tracing module and we have shown how exactly Brownian dynamics happen. In this video, we will be talking about competing force. Suppose we have a particle and two competing forces are acting. One force is trying to pull it down and other force is, is trying to say keep it upwards. So what happens if we change the magnitude, we can visualize in that case the dynamics of the particle will be governed by the resultant force and we will exactly look at this particular thing here. This is very simple. In the, uh, with respect to thinking but how to implement it in FPT that is important because you will be working with various force fields only you may have different force fields ca coming from your optics coming from your electrodynamics, hydrodynamics or many other things you can put those forces, you can customize your forces so it is, it is, it is, it is important to know how exactly those forces act on a particle so we go to model wizard 2d let us take particle tracing for fluid flows and time dependent i choose now let me go to particle tracing for fluid flow once again i'll show you this is the second law of New newton and we are actually solving for it and this ft represents total force that might be the sum or algebraic sum of various forces you choose or you define manually. So today we will be taking two forces. So I right click on particle tracing and the first force will be gravity force and the second force will be say we choose electric force, electric field force, this one. Now two things are important first is you should have a geometry which we have not taken so I right click on geometry take a square build selected yeah the square is taken now the second thing is you should always choose the domain of your force so gravity is acting here so you should define it otherwise there will be an error symbol similarly electric field force you should choose it so in this tutorial, I will I, I will intentionally have some errors just to tell you if you come across those errors, how to get rid of those things. So I will run the simulation multiple times and it will show multiple errors and we will be looking into the errors and solving it. So what are the things I have chosen? I have chosen two forces. Uh, I know that particle properties should be given so let me take it 50 and material that is the density let me take user defined automatically it takes 2200 it is okay let us go ahead with this this has a electric field force so it should be having certain electric field so we go to electric force and we define an electric field now the idea is gravity will try to pull down the object so we should have our electric force acting upwards so that the resultant i mean so that it these two forces become competent to each other and that's why what we do is we act an electric field in the positive y direction let me take it thousand any arbitrary value i am taking and see the force due to electric field is equal to QE you might have read it in your plus 2 level or I mean in the graduation level so we need to define the charge so how to define the charge I go to particle property you see there is an option charge number this is the number I mean that will be multiplied by electronic charge so this also I take thousand an arbitrary value now what I do, I have to do meshing. Let me go ahead with finer mesh. Not good. Let me do extra fine. This is okay. Now what I will be doing, I will run my simulation and it will show me 
one by one error and I will just rectify those errors and I will explain the errors. So try to compute it. So what it is showing no particle inlet or release defined and an inlet or release feature. So what it means basically I have not chosen any particle so I mean it should not solve for anything. So what I need to do is I need to right click on it and I need to choose particles. Now you need you can choose particles from various options. You can have an inlet and you can define the particle inlet or you can have an option of release. I'll go ahead with this option for the time being. Release means you have a domain from this domain. It will uniformly release your particle. You can define your number of particles. Now I will be defining the number of particles. Initially it is mesh based. Let me change it to density and I only choose one particle. So it will be somewhere here, releasing somewhere here. And you have release time also. You can define at what time of your simulation the particle will be released. So I have chosen release in this domain. Now again let me run it. It will show another error. See what it is showing undefined material property row required by gravity force. What does it mean? You have taken a gravity force but in that gravity force the density is not given. I mean gravity G is given if you go and you can see minus g constant is given this is the acceleration due to gravity which is acting in the negative y direction so it is defined but gravity is what mass multiplied by your g so you have your particle diameter from there you can define the volume of the particle but for calculating mass you need density of the particle so density of the material so this this density you should define so what I do is I choose user defined. This is also 2200 because the part it should be equal to the particle. So it is 2200. Here also I define 2200. Now it should work if it gives I mean further errors we will rectify it. So I click here. Yeah, it worked and it simulated the seed. Initially, I mean, I let me look at where the particle was initially. So yeah, this is the particle. If I if I change time, it is changing location. Let me take some more time interval, say ten seconds, and let me compute it so that I can understand it. So you see the particle has become somewhat stable but it is moving somewhat. I will change the parameter and then you will be you can see it is moving but I chose the force such a way that it has become like this and it is slowly moving and moving upwards. And the release option is working randomly. So the initial particle randomly chosen here. It was chosen here. And then you see it is moving upward. Now what I can do is I can vary the electric field force. And sometime it will go upward, sometime downward. And we can look into this for that. I click on study, right click. There is an option parametric sweep. What I do is I define some parameters. Say in the parameter, let me define the charge. Say or you can define electric field also. Say E Y, that is a y directional electric field. I can for the time being let me take it 10 volt per meter. And if what you can do is you go to electric force. And you can define it as EY because EY is defined there. Now in the parametric sweep, if you you have the option of EY. Now this EY can be varied from say I can make it 0.1, I can make it 1, I can make it 10, I can make it. 
so in the log scale I am moving 100 1000 I have already simulated so let me compute for these options so I click on compute so yeah you can see the initial particle is somewhere here so let me yeah let me focus on this now what I do is I go to initial time here now slowly if I move see the particle is not moving or it is moving very slowly upwards so if I zoom more you can see what is happening with the particle yeah it is slowly moving upward so what is happening this force is acting in the upward direction and it is moving slowly now what you do you make it point 0.1 it is now the EY value is now 100 if I make it point 0.1 the force electric field force will go down now the particle should fall under gravity let me check it whether it is happening or not so this is here if I change the time it has become somewhat neutral kind it is not moving downward not moving upward you can check it I mean somehow I calculated and it is becoming a kind of balance it's kind of levitated particle now if I change it to 10 UI value and plot it now it will move so initially we go to zero time again we plot you see slowly it moves upward if I choose a higher time you can realize just look at the particle it will go upward yeah it has gone slightly upward now what we do is we randomly change the value to higher values say 1 e3 that is 1000 1 e5 1 e7 and then again we simulate it so we are changing increasing the electric field so you see what happens the particle is vanished what does it mean it has gone it has got a very huge force and let me see the particle for 1000 I am looking at I have already looked at for 1000 let me look at for 10 to the power 5 so initially it is here let me zoom it yes we can zoom further now slow see how fast it is moving so we are increasing the force now what happens if I make this zero suppose I am making the electric field zero so there is no force acting so what happens if I make the electric field zero so I have already made it this is zero electric field so you can see the particle here yes initially I go to zero it was here now if you if you change the time you can look at it yes gravity should act and it should go down slowly so the particle we can visualize it if we if we increase the mass of the particle so that can be increased either by changing the dimension so let me make it 500 micron so again I compute it there is no electric force for the time being and now you see the initially the particle is here at and you can actually you can actually see the particle is not moving upward so actually the thing is you have to play around with these parameters and if you play around it will show different kind of motions so I have not calculated systematically and that's why I cannot show I mean the I mean desired velocity but you can just play around with these magnitudes 
and you will get a nice profile of velocity so today i'm stopping here i hope this video was helpful if it was helpful please subscribe to our channel so that i we get more motivation to upload videos thank you